get really into this. Let's get into the scripture of this particular matter. New boy, same as the old boys. New boys is going to meet the new boys. But both of them are popes. See, both of them are popes. Right? Just like the black and the white pope, if you understand what that means within the um the inner sense. So let's look right here, let's look up lamb and dragon. Alright, lamb and dragon. Alright? Lamb and dragon. Or better yet, let's look up like a lamb. Alright? Everyone's commenting how he's such a man of peace. You know, Nothing about the testimony of Jesus Christ, right? Nothing about the testimony of Jesus Christ. Nothing really about the Bible, but it's all about their church. You see, we're still in prophetic country here, people. Now, we did a whole uh, lecture, actually, reasoning, inspired reasoning, on this verse right here, 1311. 1311 basically explains, explains it all. But what we to touch on here is the number 13 in this uh, Petrus Romanus 2012. Now, a lot of folks are saying, well, uh, he's not Petrus Romanus, and that's not true, but you see, they recognize exactly what they're doing. There's two popes. They have two popes. One of the first times in history overtly have two popes. Right, really, two Jesuit popes, but you know, overtly, this uh, new pope, Jorge Mario uh, um, Bergoglio, right, who's known as Francis, which is interesting. That and this, this is the key right there. You see what they were able to achieve right here. They're basic. This is basically a redo. New pope, same as the old pope. New boys, meet the old boys, right? So let's deal with this right here. See, the new pope, right, is the same as the old pope, right, basically. And they both are popes. Make note of that. They both are popes. Like we said, we went into much more detail on this, right? We went into much more detail on this in the audio, right, in the audio version on inspiration, Right, we got a couple of subject matters we want to deal with. The number 13 is also very, very significant as to what that shows us, plus the date. Right, the date is also very, very, the number 13. Right, the number 13 is contained in the date. First, we have the number 11 if we don't add the 20 for 2013. Right, and then it comes down to 13 in singularity to 4. Now, it's very interesting when we look at this, and like we said, in our more expanded version, we went into more detail, right, on this uh, Pope uh, Francis. There's a lot of firsts right here, right? And here is the name, or the working name, Petrus Romanus 2013, um, Revelation 1311, the twin popes, right, the two horns, right? This is a two horns prophecy. But we started out with the date. The first revelation was really in the date. And the date, March 13th, 2013, or 2013, 0313. And when we added that up, right? When we added that up, hold on for a moment. I'm checking out the Charlie Rose, all right? The Charlie Rose show. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And because Charlie Rose is the insider, you really have to check out some of the things that we heard, basically, you know. Um, uh, it's, 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 wow, it's really interesting. But let's just deal with the, the 13 in this particular vid. We also, you know, going over that new boss meet the old boss, right, new pope, same as the old pope. So let's look at that scripture. I think it's interesting when they say he speaks like a, a lamb, right? Remember, there are two popes, right? Let's just remember and recall there are two popes. Now, a lot of folks are trying to say, well, the whole Petrus Romanus thing, he's not Peter, but he's Francis. 
And Francis, if you if you understand, Francis, they uh, the original name of uh, Francesco, right? Who Saint Francis is 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 name, and this particular pope, um, Cardinal uh, Bergoglio or Jorge Jorge Mario Bergoglio, and note that he is an he's an Italian. Right, but they're gonna say he's Argentinian, but his roots are Italy. You remember, like after you know some of the events of the previous uh, wars and everything, that previous dispensation, many of them fled to Argentina, right? And we look forward to the brothers and sisters in Argentina to bring forth more of that particular evidence right there. So we're gonna get into this name, but some are gonna tried to dismiss this. In fact, they already got out there and say, oh, you're wrong, STFU, so forth and so on. But are they really? All right, here's the important thing about the number 13. The number 13 figures significantly. First of all, figures significantly from the date, right? The date basically gives it, gives it away right there. Why this particular date? Caesar, beware of the Ides of Mars. Remember that? Caesar, beware of the eyes of March. All right, so let's get into this number 13. But in order to kind of put it together in a, in a short vid, we did the longer, the longer audio where we actually went into much more detail. Actually, the Holy Spirit revealed to us much more detail. This is kind of like a summary right here. So like a lamb, I think it's interesting, you know, when the scripture says that even Satan can transform himself into an angel of light, and if he can do that, then what can his ministers do, right? And they're already saying that this new um, so-called pope, right, their pope, their father, is just like um, um, Pope John Paul, right? And when we see the particular peculiar relationship, right, as we look over here, let's bring this down right here. Right, as we look right here, okay, this relationship between these two, and remember, they both are popes. He is Pope um, um, Emeritus, right? He's still Pope, Pope Emeritus. He's still Benedict. People want to call him Ratzinger, but that's outside of, you know, the so-called Vatican order. You remember this? He was the black pope. He was the head of the 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 Vatican body known as the uh, Inquisition or the Congratio de Propaganda de Fide, right? And it seems as though he's returning to that particular steering role. So you have actually two popes all the time, but that was something that was kept, in a sense, as a secret. Now that which is the externalization of the hierarchy that's going on right now. And then they already had their talking points about this guy already lined up, right? They had all of their talking points. What a nice guy he is and, you know, how he cares about the poor and he's like a, a humble man, he speaks softly and so forth and so on. And that's what makes Revelation 13, 11, which are the two significant numbers, right? The two significant numbers, as we go up here, is 13... Right? 13 and 11. 13 and 11. And that's the particular date. Why this particular day? And also notice that um, in 2005, who was, who was the runner-up? Right? Who was the next runner-up? It was Jorge. Jorge was right behind Joseph. Right? So you think Joseph is not the father, but he's the father... Um, um, emeritus, right? So what once was in a sense done in secret, in a sense, has been externalized. And we see this right here, you know, in this famous shot between um, um, John. And they're already saying that this new guy is so humble and he cares about the poor and so forth and so on, just like him, right? So this is what kind of like, and he's now in the same position that he was, yet he has a title of Pope, right? Yet he still maintains the title of the Pope. So um, new boss, same as the old boss, or both bosses prophetically are working together. And here's the verse right here. And I beheld another beast, 
coming up out of the earth. Now you know it was very interesting that this um that this guy he basically says um he says that the cardinals had to search to the ends of the earth to basically kind of like find a bishop for Rome. Right? And he calls the congregants Romans at the same time. And basically being uh Italian by blood, he is also a Roman. Right? He is also a Roman. So he makes that mention about the ends of the earth, like they had to find somebody from the ends of the earth. Right? That's also a link. And they say this is his uh this is his um coat of arms right here. Right? This is his coat of arms. So you can see his coat of arms that has the the Jesuit um sun, you know, that has the Jesuit sun and, and, and Shield right here and the IHS. All right, you see that right there. Okay, so this page right here was also very interesting too. Right, with the video. Right, oh, he's such a humble man. He speaks like a lamb. All right, but remember, there's two horns, and this is this is so-called back in the day, and they got it right right here that the so-called black pope is elected, Pope Francis.